video, we're going to talk about the Illuminati and their agenda is the concept of being Illuminati, just the way that they're going about it, and much more. So. You know, sometimes I really don't prepare ahead of time for these videos. You know, a lot of people on YouTube will sit there and make out cue cards and you'll kind of see them kind of like looking somewhere else, reading off the card in a very bland way. And that's just not my style. I usually think about the topic and then I just go for it and I feel like it's more of a natural approach and it really shows my personality and my thoughts in regards to whatever subject I'm talking about and how I feel about it. And a lot of times people will forget, you know, that I am also a minister and a metaphysician and a lot of people will just merely come to me for psychic readings. And I'm not just a fortune teller. I don't even really like that term. I'm more of like a doctor really because I do therapy and I do a lot of research and this all applies to everything that's going on in the world today and that's what I want I want to talk about really because there really is so much going on and you go on these sites and you'll see that people are saying oh it's the dawn of a new era and the world is ascending and all these wonderful things are taking place and I'm sitting here and I'm looking around at the world and that's not at all how I see it. What I see is something very dark going on and I know that everybody wants to sit there and say oh well I'm on a different vibration so I can't be bothered and that's all good and fine for your little section of the world when you're sitting in your home with your circle of people that are on the same vibration you know but when you step outside you can't ignore what's going on in all reality and it's the war on consciousness and a lot of my videos are focused on this topic because of everything that's going on in the world today and that's exactly what I want to talk to you about now now I'm not reading off of notes or a website or cue cards or anything like that I'm giving you everything that I've learned kind of summarized off the top of my head right now about the Illuminati and the agenda and this might make some people mad and I really don't care to be honest with you I never want to hurt anybody but if they're angry about how I view things then that's their problem not mine because in my eyes we're all entitled to see things the way that we want to and especially when it comes to truth so the Illuminati let's take it back a little bit further. Okay, so we had native people here in the world, and they all started out with, you know, a lower consciousness. So some of the star people came, and they wanted to help. They raised the consciousness. They awoken the DNA up to the 12 strands, and people were functioning very well. They were operating with great intelligence, communicating telepathy, and just able to create all around them but then another set of beings came down and you know they realized that hey wait a minute we're much bigger we're much powerful and we can take these people and we can make them submit so they chased those other star beings away and they started taking over and dominating and they deactivated the DNA but they left it activated to the third strand because they needed the people to be able to function in the environment, but they didn't want them to function beyond the environment because otherwise they wouldn't be able to be controlled. And you'll go in to some of the old sacred teachings and you'll see that a lot of the gods are serpentine. The Mayan god, um, you know, you have the seraphim, the fiery serpents in Christianity. You have um, Satan, the devil in Christianity who's a dragon or serpent. And the list goes on and on. It goes all throughout the world's cultural beliefs. It really does. And then people are associating the serpent in a negative way. When the serpent isn't a negative thing per se. So 
those beings that came secondary, when they came here and they started dominating the world, they started making the people submit. And after a while, after the people were operating on a third dimensional consciousness, you know, those beings left and went on their own. And they left human beings in that state of existence. And people really had nothing to go on. They needed someone to look up to, someone to blame, or someone to give thanks to each day. So they worshiped those star beings as gods. And that's why if you read a lot of the sacred texts, you'll see that some things just don't add up. You know, um, first of all, we have Jesus of Nazareth, whose name wasn't even Jesus. His name was Yeshua. And when you translate Yeshua into English, it comes up Joshua. So the name Jesus never really applied. And he's associated with the morning and the evening star. But if you read, you know, the Christian Bible, you'll also notice that the devil, Lucifer, is also associated with the morning and evening star. And Archangel Michael has also been associated with the morning and the evening star. And they all can't be the morning and the evening star. So... If you do your research and you look really deep, you'll start to see that they're all the same thing. They're all the same thing. They're the light bearers. The light bearer is the light that activates within your mind to make you conscious of everything that's going around you. So they didn't want people to get that. So what they did was they said, oh, it's evil, you'll go to hell. Or they just plain out killed them. They tortured them so that they would never get to the truth, they would never activate the light, and then activate the DNA back up, and they wouldn't ascend, and, you know, they wanted them to be controlled. That's bottom line. So, they made up lies, and, you know, they distorted sacred texts, and made them say what they wanted them to say, so that people wouldn't look any further. They'd have them right there in their palm of their hands. So, Long ago, you know, some of those messengers that came from the heavens called angels, you know, they came here with those other star people. And they wanted, they were part of the group that helped the people ascend. And some of those angels fell in love. And this was not something that was supposed to occur. So they were banished from the heavens for starting families down here because that wasn't what they were here to do. And some of those angels were like, oh, okay, well, I'm being punished, and that's that. But the other angels, they were just so infuriated that they were being exiled from their home that instead of taking their punishment, they decided that they would just, okay, I'm stuck here, so I'm going to take over this entire world. And that's what they did. And it just so happened that they got lucky that those other, you know, star races came here and suppressed human beings because that put the human race right where those fallen angels wanted them to be. So they kind of did the dirty work for the fallen angels. And then after they left, the fallen angels themselves took over. And any children that they had with their you know, human families, they ended up putting them in positions of great power and wealth. And they worked behind the scenes, and that's where we get the Illuminati. So the Illuminati stems from the fallen angels who made children with human women and you know they put them in power and wealth and that's how we get the world today so the entire concept that the Illuminati is on is not evil per se there are elements to it that have been added that make it very evil but the entire idea isn't See, the word Illuminati means the illuminated ones, illuminated, enlightened. It's another word for enlightened, and that's what we're all sitting here trying to reach, right? So wouldn't we be hypocrites to say that that concept is wrong? Exactly, we would. So it's not that becoming enlightened is a bad thing. It's not. We want to be aware of the God consciousness. We want to be right there with our makers to have an understanding of everything instead of being kept here in the dark. But what is wrong is the way that they're going about it. See, the fallen angels, they're, they're mad because they're exiled. So instead of getting enlightened for the creator, 
they're becoming enlightened for themselves and that's where they're going wrong and that's what's making it an evil agenda because they're doing it on the souls of all of the people in this world so instead of just working towards enlightenment through meditation and prayer and research they're just taking souls away from people and using that energy to fuel their own and taking the wisdom and knowledge that doesn't belong to them because a soul will have many different lifetimes and learn a lot of things through those lifetimes and they know that so they figured if we get these souls to condemn themselves they'll be in the realm with us and we could feed off of all of their wisdom and that's exactly what's happening so they are building their kingdom and their enlightenment on the backs of all of the souls in this world enslaving the souls because the physical body dies so they know that the soul is the program it's like you get a new phone right you put all these different apps in it you have like the best phone in the world now because you have all these different apps that's exactly what they're doing the souls are the apps their kingdom is the phone they're downloading all this wisdom from the souls and all of their all of their experiences as souls and putting them into their realm to give them the utmost power and knowledge and they're not using it for the creator so that's what makes it evil and you know a lot of people will sit there and say you know that this whole entire luciferian agenda is wrong and it is they do these things in such a way to be able to collect the souls what they do is they put subliminal messages in the television shows throughout the commercials in magazines in music and that's so that they can you know get your mind to submit to whatever it is that they want you to be thinking about so that you're not alert as to what's going on and then they also have people thinking that they're sick all the time really that person may not even be sick it could just be that they're being sucked of their energy so dry that they feel ill but instead they have them believe that they're ill they go to the doctors they get heavily medicated the medicated suppresses them even more and that's what's going on they're suppressing souls so the Illuminati itself is evil because they're promoting a whole bunch of stuff to suck everybody's soul where they want it to be for their own enlightenment process but the enlightenment itself is not wrong we all want to be illuminated and understand this entire multiverse going on around us so who are the Illuminati well first of all there's a pyramid of steps that they have to go up and what they do is they rise and you know there's the very top of this pyramid that nobody can ever get beyond because that's the rulers those are the fallen angel groups and then you have like you know people that are very wealthy then the rulers underneath of them because those with money rule everything and then the rulers you know the kings and the queens and the presidents they just use as a puppet as a mouthpiece and then you have you know people below that and the media is involved you have the media you have um, a lot of the merchandise branches music industry I mean the list goes on there's so many things that are tied into this Illuminati and it's so much more open now about you know they're so much more open now about what they're doing than they were like 10 years ago because you could go on TV and you know you wouldn't hear so many curse words you wouldn't see so many people in like barely nothing but um now you see them mainly nude and they're using cuss words and they're promoting you know for people to be sexually immoral and they're making it seem like it's okay because whatever you see in the TV will be later backed up in music because you'll have like artists like Lil Wayne and you know Eminem and all those types sitting there talking about girls shaking it and going out and getting high and doing drugs and you know there's nothing wrong with doing a little bit of recreational spiritual herbs but I mean to do cocaine and heroin and all this very horrible drugs it's terrible it's a form of destroying oneself so they promote those things because they know that so if you go back and you look you'll notice that every single president 
is related to the kings and queens of England, who the kings and queens of England all go back to somebody by the name of Godfrey de Bouillon, and he was the first, you know, ruler of Jerusalem down in the medieval times because he was against Christianity behind the mask that he was for it. And that's where it all stems from. And if you do your research, you'll find out that Godfrey de Bouillon's wife was actually a witch. So do your research. Check it out. You'll see um, all of the presidents are related. So if we were actually just America and we were separate from England, then why does England still have their cousins ruling over here? So no, we're not free. We are being suppressed by an entire network that's a family here to take our souls away. And that's why we have so many of these special soul types coming today to try to make people aware of what's going on. You know, people will talk about how do fallen angels have children with human women if they're not physical. See, the thing is, is no, angels are not physical in the heavens because they're higher dimensional, they're etheric, but they can manifest as a physical being and they do have a program everything with a consciousness has a program and that program got put into the dna of the offspring so that's how that came to be you know soil is very sick you know you can look up you know how george bush the day of 9 11 he was sitting there teaching children and the children were actually prophesying about the world trade centers going down right there a few seconds before it actually went down it was set up you know um osama bin laden's daughter is over here as a model an actress and a singer um dating john legend and you know then you have his son who has a lot going on as well you know they're royal over there in you know the saudi arabia areas and they own a lot of oil and if you watch like fahrenheit 9 11 you'll see that you know, Bin Laden's relative wrote a check out to President Bush just a little bit before the World Trade Center went down. And they also posed and staged all the pictures of Osama Bin Laden's dead body. Those are all fake as well. It was a setup. The news is a setup. They use crisis actors on the news. Nothing that you see is real anymore. The only thing that is real is your will to get up and be separate from all of this. You wake up in the morning, work for your enlightenment, go after everything that you want, make your reality come true, and do it in a good way. Stay away from the, the you know, propaganda of the Illuminati. You don't wanna be a part of that. So I say, you know, don't watch TV a lot because the TV is a portal, it's a gateway. It sends the light into your living room you're sitting right there while they're sending spirits through the portal of your television if you don't believe me get a camera put your tv on and then stand off to the side and take a picture of the light that's shining into your living room you'll see faces in that light because you have spirits coming into your house they want to make sure that you are on board whether you know it or you don't they want to suppress you. It's sad. It really does make me really sad. The Illuminati is a very, very real thing. And you know what? Because of all these celebrities being a part of it, younger generations are thinking that it's cool and they're getting into it. You know, just recently I saw somebody that had a Baphomet tattoo um, tattooed on their chest. And I was like, wow, I can't believe this. You know, everybody thinks that it's okay. If you want to reach enlightenment, that's fine. Go after it, but don't join a group that is building their enlightenment by taking other people's souls away, you know, through trickery and deception. So thanks for watching. I love you all. And just do your research. Look it up. Check out the presents. Check out how they're related. Check out the picture. Take the picture of the light coming from your TV. See the spirits that are pouring into your home. And if they can do that through the television, imagine what else they can use, your phone, your computer, you know, everything, everything. They follow us.
you know, it's sad. So do the research and you're going to really discover how deep the rabbit hole goes. It really does. It didn't just start with the royal family. It goes back eons and eons to the beginning, you know, of, of creation and such. So I hope this video has educated you. I hope that it has inspired you to look deeper and to not just accept surface knowledge. You know, not everything is what it seems and not everything is as it appears. So see you guys next video. Thanks for watching.